back to another, another, another episode of Victoria 2 Heart of Darkness. And last episode, you guys all know that we had had an awesome and victorious war against the Pushkins. I call it the Franco Pushkin War, except it was reversed. Instead of them wanting to gain the Alice Lorraine region, I took their Ryland. 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 Ugh. And it was quite joyous times. I mean, right now, France's, France's uh, industry is so, like, well, it was so matched up with the, uh, with the uh, Pushkins, but for a while there, we actually were matched up with the Pushkins, and it was kind of awesome. I mean, we were dominating, we were doing all kinds of stuff, and you know what? I'm also going to sphere these guys again, and the reason why is because, uh, wait, can I actually... No, I, oh, I already have diplomatic relationships with all of them. Okay, I'm going to spear them again because they have a high, like, industrial rating. And I really do need industrial. But anyways, I am so happy of that. That was just such a glorious moment in our French campaign. Is the fact that I, as a French, could reverse the timelines and make the Germans feel the hurt from their wounds. And lick their wounds. And have to feel just, just, I, I mean, I'm, I don't know how the Germans feel right now, but they must feel really bad. I mean, they just, like, lost another region of theirs. Not just that, but they also lost this region. So now, if Germany was the form, it would look really, really, really weird. Well, not super duper weird where you can't recognize it, but it would look really weird to those people who live in Germany or live on the borders. And, wow. Reinforcements are, the, are back. Um, right now, I've just been, been working on stuff, but I think I'm going to work on my tax efficiency a little bit. Because we need to start waking in the dough. Um, we right now have another national debt. Oh my goodness. We are always in debt. Like, almost every episode, we are in some type of debt. And now it's finally to the American question, because I just scrolled over there, and we need to answer this. Um, in fact, I'll wait until the new year, and then I will pause and give you my thoughts. Happy New Year! Okay. So America, in this timeline, is becoming quite pathetically weak. They don't have a good industrial power, they aren't industrializing at a particularly fast rate, and they aren't, the, and they let the little vassal of the CSA kick their butts. Alright, they have no, I mean look at this, they have no army right now, and doesn't even say they have a powerful army, so, for the sake of alliances, I think I'm gonna break up with these guys. And, you know, it's no hard feelings, but you guys are really stink at what you guys are doing. Seriously. Just, just, you guys need some help. You guys need some help. And, what I, <laughs> ah, Preska just, they just went to war against Preska. Oh man, these, the Pushkins just cannot get a break. Everyone's like, gaining up on them. This is, this is the time. And, I was hoping to get alliance with Russia, but apparently I can't. So, um, who should I get alliance with? I'll get alliance with no, Austria doesn't like me. Oh. Maybe the reason why I had an alliance with... U oh, yeah. I now remember the original reason why I had an alliance with the USA. They were the only ones who would have an alliance with me. Uh, so, USA, would you accept me back if I uh, come back? Yeah, you would? Oh, good. I'll make you guys mine. Yeah. Okay, and we have... Alright, so we have in our main capital, our main troops are... Almost healed. Um, yeah, almost healed. We just... It's going to take a little bit of time. I mean, this was a big, gigantic event for most people. And it honestly cost a lot of lives. A lot of great Fran franco Prussians died in the war. And a lot of uh, Belgians died in the war. Not many people know about that. The Belgians also were fighting too. And the Swedish were also apparently fighting, but I never saw them once, so... But anyways, we won. <laughs> if, if that's the moral of my, any of my stories today, is that we won, and right now we're in just kind of a gloating celebration mood. I mean, the, the French right now must be feeling like on top of the world. Nothing can bring them down. While the Prussians, on the other hand, must feel like complete and utter dung. Because right now they're fighting against the most powerful, well, the second most powerful military in the world. I'm guessing Austria beats me, by the way, in military score. No, I beat them. 
And I can now spear to Sicilies. Because they would seriously help my... Okay, Cordial. No one else is really trying to go after them either, so I could probably get them pretty easy. But yeah! <laughs> oh my goodness, Prushka. I, I, Prushka is just going to be like eliminated just like this little nation right here. Even if they form. We've... Uh, I almost feel confident enough to say that if the Russians defeat them hard enough, they're not coming back. And Parma is fears we are coming. Ha! Of course we are. We're going to go take you guys because we really want you guys. You guys are the utmost of our... Oh, shoot. Our army over here. Go back. Go back. Oh, it's the Russians. I was like, why are we gaining, like, attack when we shouldn't even? And there's our little army over here. I feel like we lost a lot of troops. And, oh my goodness, we can start recruiting over here. Cut down Bakura. Uh, we can lose some prestige. I don't really care about that. But anyways, yeah. And right now, again, we're going to be burning up Infamy and who's attacking. The second Amex Mexican-American war. That means... That means uh, we're going after Mexico. And what are we getting out of it? California. All right. Maybe after this, America will become that great nation, but... Dang, they just damaged my economy again. I was so hoping to, like, stay out of, like, debt and stuff. Alright. No, I really hate taxing the populace. I really hate taxing the populace. Like, I don't look like I do, but I really hate it. It just kind of cringes on me every time I do it. And, oh, man, I just... I really wish I was kind of at peace right now. I, I was kind of looking forward to it. Just kind of relaxing, kind of just sitting down on my porch, just rocking my chair, and not just doing anything at all. But apparently America, America, does, you don't even have any army. <sighs> okay, I'm going to see if I can get out of this war immediately. Propose peace. Uh, they would not accept this offer. I'm just going to instantly just say, would you get me that? No, you, you're going to fight me to the very end, of course. Of course. Well, America has its really pathetic army deployed. And I apparently can go spear another nation. The two Sicilies. Yes, I might actually be able to get these guys in one episode. That'd be really impressive. Okay, friendly. Okay, continue. Da -da -da -da. But, yeah. Seems like we're now at war with them. And we're having to tax our people much more than I expected to. Because we had to pay... I want to, if we're going to go into debt again, I want to first dig deep and greedy. Of course. What else would we do? Dig deep and nice? That never gets you business. Alright, okay, factory output, we should probably get that technology now. Um, experimental technology, we don't need, uh, anything we do need. Hmm. I'm trying to make sure we have everything. Because once, because we all know that once the uh, event happens... Of uh, colonial talk. How is colonial talk? Do we even have it? No, I don't think we have it yet. But once the new new kind of like colonization system, because right now we should be focusing on colonization and not a stupid war with with Mexico. But I'll, I'll let it slide just because I'm hopeful for the United States, and I did say that this region would become theirs. So that's still a part of my goals. It's just like, wow, I'm really gonna have to fight a lot. Yeah, that made no sense. And I have enough army now so I can repay all my debts. There we go. We're out of debt again. And now I can lower the taxes on the middle class. Because that's really where we want to lower the taxes. Anywhere else, it's fine. It's fine, really. Really, really, we, we don't need to lower the taxes on the poor. Oh, man, I mean, I, I really am not nice to the poor. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm hesitant to raise taxes on the middle class. The middle class is very important. And the rich. I'm not afraid to raise taxes on the poor. The poor can go in the poor houses. And oh my goodness, is this the Jacobsons again? No, these are the French ultra liberals who do a much better job and put the uh, Jacobsons into place about showing up re revolutions and war between Mexico and the US. Heed, heed, heed. Something about heeding, I wasn't really paying attention. Revolution, revolution. Yeah, you guys, please go take out the people of Mexico. Not Mexico. Harris. All right. There we go. And our troops should be able to handle that. Any like, oh my goodness. <gasps> no way. No way. We actually have a crisis, everyone. And let me make sure my colonies are all okay. 
and my server just is like going out and there's a little bit of an attack right here a little bit of a national security issue uh i'm gonna go send these guys oh these are all cannons okay well you guys all combine uh discombobulate this guy he's gonna go down and oh dang He's going to go down and take out these guys over here because we need to destroy them so that they do not cause much trouble for us in the future. Yeah, you guys go take out these guys and you guys are going to be the protectors of Ethiopia. So, yeah, finally everyone, we, five in, we finally have an internal crisis. And what was the internal crisis that was brewing? The Albanian one. Ooh. Ooh, 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 ooh. Well, Albania... Hmm. Well, can I even do it? No, I can't. Oh, yeah, because I just went to war with the Ottomans. So I can't do this war. Dang it. Alright, so we're just going to have to see, but if I could support this war, I would instantly support the Russian Empire. Because they're honestly the empire that should, or the Albanians should become free now. Because the Ottomans, while a great power, should not... Oh my goodness. I don't think they have enough support. I don't think the Ottomans... Yeah, because the Russian Empire... The Ottoman Empire... Yeah, it doesn't seem like they have enough support. So, this crisis will fail. But, yes! At least we know that the crisis system now works in this game. Because I was... I was kind of worrying that for a while there, it would not work. And that, you know, this was all just kind of buggy. Because, you know, there's been some really weird glitches. Like, especially that weird glitch where I had, like, an entire, remember I said, an entire, like, army and rebels to spawn my capital and instantly, like, change reforms and change my entire land. I don't know. So, yeah. We have them. Um, so, how's America doing in its war against Mexico? Well, apparently, it's not even trying. Because, how long is it going to take? It's, like, moving its soldiers in very weird positions. Who... Positions, po, positions, positions, and we should send an expedition because that always gives us prestige, and prestige is very good. Uh, yeah, sure, why not? I mean, we have time. And bankrupt steel turbine, whatever, whatever. Ah, uh, we have so much to do, just so much to do. And actually, is this an entire? I think this might actually be an episode, people. So for next time, we'll find out if the crisis completely fails. Oh, actually, wait a minute, we just found out if the crisis completely fails. So, and we'll find out if the Mexican-American war will ever actually take any place, or will I just be at war this forever. So, anyways, see you guys next time. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to this... Ah, I forgot to unpause. Ah, the beliefs must be expected. Okay, salute, everyone. I should say salute, everyone. And welcome back to this other episode of... Victoria 2, Heart of Darkness. We are back here in our game, just like chilling, billing, killing, whatever you want to say about it, we are back. And last episode, I'll do a quick recap. We basically waited around forever, instantly got back at war with some country, and that was Mexico, because we have to, we want to honor our invasion plans for this region, which is, we want America to own this region. So, we went back to war, we went back, we went back to war with Mexico, and... Nothing is happening. Like, no one's moving in. No one's trying to conquer. Um, the troops, I think the uh, American troops are finally getting over there. Though they should have been over there, like, beginning. And, yeah. We also had an internal crisis with, uh, what was it? Albania. But it, it inevitably failed because it did not have the backing of me. And that was because I had already been at war with the Ottomans. So, I was not allowed to join the event. So, yeah, that's where we are at, and with that event, we also should, we also have been taxing the poor f to unpresidential levels, which, you know, I should be feeling really bad about, but I don't. And, if you remember from last episode, we started spearing Sicilies, and everyone, the moment has arrived, boom boom! Two Sicilies has been speared, and I don't think they're ever going to come back as a great power again, so we don't have to worry about that. And I'm going to, uh quickly off screen do a lot of uh, improvements of land like all my colonies and my uh, French French provinces and all that so we want to make sure that we own want to make sure we have a good grasp so be right back okay back 
So again, as been a theme in this Let's Play, I can never quite get everything I want. But I did get all of Algeria and a little bit of the uh, Egyptian area, a lot, all of the French Madagascar, and a little bit of our Omani conquest. So it's good enough. Ah, uh, so what's our goal for this episode? Well, this episode, I just want to kind of take it easy, kind of just take a break. Hopefully, hopefully Mexico will either, yeah, crisis averted if you guys, this is the official event. <laughs> and I hope the Americans will be able to get their butts in the gear and, you know, start conquering all of Mexico so that we can have all this land. I mean, they, they're allies, I mean... <sighs> Stupid, what's this country called? The U, the USCA is doing more than the actual US is doing. And look at that, Venezuela is coming up. So, you know, USA just gotta get in gear. Actually, wait a minute, we could actually help with this invasion. I just remembered, we have this army over here. So let's go help. Yay! And we could, we could probably go conquer the main city, but I don't think I will. And, yeah, there's my little contribution that I realized I could do. So, we're now helping them conquer, conquer, not France, but close to France is we're going to get. Uh, no, close to America is we're going to get. There we go. And do we have these guys speared yet? I thought we did. Yeah, we do. We do have them speared, but we're just waiting. I see what we're waiting for. We'll just give them just a little bit of, of influence. Because we want to make sure we kind of stay within our sphere. Because, now look at our sphere. Whew. We have a pretty powerful sphere right now. We have... Oh, that's America. I was like, when did we sphere these guys? Oh, no, that's not us. That's that's somebody different. And how's America... Russia? What? Oh, oh, I, that's military. I was like, when did they get, like, the third biggest... Long live France! Okay, I was like, when did they get, like, the third biggest, uh... Industrial score? That, if you guys are wondering, that's what I was wondering about. Okay, Brazil... No! I'm not getting any more wars, okay? Especially since I can reject you guys, okay? I can't reject the United States necessarily because they are a big ally of mine. But I can reject you guys, certainly. You guys are not as important. Okay, and we have our troops coming back. Oh my goodness, this this was like a march of terror, everyone. They started out with like 33,000 troops and they went to 20,000. Oh, that's, that's just got a stink right there. And they haven't even gotten to battle yet. <laughs> so far in this world, we've lost more to disease than we ever did to, uh, conquerings. <sighs> well. C'est la vie, I guess. C'est la vie. Mm. And it seems like America conquered the rest of the uh, this region. So I don't think... No, it's 42% fulfilled. So, oh dang. I thought we would be able to, like... Because, you know, once that event backfires, then we won't be able to do it again. But, I guess not. Guess not. So, right now, I'll let my troops just sit there. Because we can now just sit there. And I'm looking at any internal crises. Wow, Albania is really determined to become independent. Like, really determined. I'm I'm loving this. Now, if, now, if I can join them, I would. But I think I'm still in a diplomatic... Yeah, I'm still in a diplomatic uh, peace with these guys. Safeguard, trade. I'm still in a diplomatic peace with these guys until 1869. So, I don't know. I won't be able to help them out. And the Santo did something. I don't know. Yada, yada, yada. Okay, let's start making some more industrial power. Because we are so close to being the best industrial power. The Germans got to be like 270, maybe. Uh, just eight, deduct atheism. 190s, oh man, we are so close. And I think they're fighting, they're fighting Netherlands, Portugal, and Spain. Why would they, what was the purpose, okay, long live France, what was the purpose of you guys fighting against, no, I don't want to plan the economy. Uh, what was your guys' purpose? Oh, wait a minute. Oh, wait a minute. France, Spain acquired Palestine, what? Oh. Oh, I see. That's smart, Germany. That's smart. Okay, and we have another failed factory, which in our country, we don't care if it's failed or not. We just destroy it. Who cares about it anyways? Uh, wow, we have lots of things building right now. So, yeah. Yeah, it seems like a lot of things are starting to change. But, 
me and the United States are just like chilling here, kind of conquering whatever we need. Life cycle or prestige? Life cycle. You know, let's try two May Safaris this time. So you've done, I think you've done the other one a couple different times. And new spearing options of propel states. Because remember, guys, we just started spearing them. So add this. Wow. That was the quickest spearing I've ever done. So now, so now we basically own the entire Italian front. And I think our industrial base is now boosted up from it. Yeah. <laughs> yes. We're good. We are good. Okay. Okay. There we go. Let's go back to America. Yes, it seems like we have some Mexicans trying to reconquer some of the land. Um, while simultaneously being like destroyed by me and the Venezuelans USCA forces. And the ultra liberals apparently like won the victory. But the good thing about that is uh, I can always do this and go to the Bonaparte party. Yay! And I'm gonna have to reset my taxes, won't I? Won't I? But eh, we could actually keep it low taxes for the poor for a little bit. Because we actually don't, we actually, wait a minute, we don't actually don't need that high of a military spending. Because I think now our soldiers have fallen back. And in Serbia, do we want to assert a position? No, we don't. We want to kind of deduct our infamy so we can start, like, conquering again. Okay, and we can deduct how much, like, supplies we get to our artillery and, and food and stuff. Because right now, we really don't need that much. And are we substituting, by the way? Because I do not substitute. I want to point that out right now to any anyone. I do not substitute my factories. Because I kind of consider it a waste of my time. Okay, you guys go directly into Mexico City. Let's see if we can end this war. And America added... No, the USC wants Yucatan. The USA wants Oregon. Actually, that's a smart grab right there. Grabbing Oregon would give them this piece right here. And then they just need to, like, gain a good core in the CSA. Alright, small arms factory just collapsed. In Ghana! Oh, Ghana! Speaking of which, how is Ghana? Because, I don't remember what, how many, how much population does it have? Everyone place your bets. Okay. 122 and 3.6. I, okay, yes, I can proceed with that. Yay, we're done! But it seems like our efforts to move people to that pathetic little city has not worked. For shame. For shame. But I think I'm just going to... By the way, I think I'm just going to open that factory up. Because there's really no point why not to. And the Ottomans go to war. Poor Ottomans. And... Yeah. And apparently the Com Commonwealth of Ghana has just formed. And we have to move our soldiers out of here now. Before they all like die. So let's see how many soldiers die from that attempt. And... We got, we have interchangeable charts. Let's get cheap iron now. And our economy is now starting to boom again. Woohoo! And America has officially united most of its western regions. Now all we need to do is just clear itself up with the British. Which I think we'll be able to do. And apparently our main exports are these three things. Let's see. How are we doing in oil? I don't think we're even in top of juice since yeah. China is giving us the most glass. I'm not really concentrating on glass. Lumber, China, uh, yeah. Fruit, wow, we are almost there to them. Grain, I think we're beating. No, we're still not beating them, really? Oh, yeah, because they have India. India gives them a lot of grain. Tobacco, they're beating us. We're still going a pretty good amount. Liquor, they're beating us. How about in industrial goods, steel? Oh, no! No way! How are they still beating us in steel? Steamer convoys. Why did they beat us in steel? I mean, they don't even have the most iron production. They're not even on the list. Okay, our, our industry must really stink. That's all I gotta say. And then we're barely producing arms. We're producing actually a lot of ammo of the world. And we're the leading producer in artillery. That makes me happy right there. Canned food. I didn't expect this to be on top. But, yeah. We finally made peace. We're finally at just like a lull in the game. Finally, Confederate insults. I don't really care about the Confederacy. I'm just going to say that right now. How is the Confederacy? Will it actually become a second power? No, it will not. Ah, but we're finally in a lull in the game. We can kind of just right now take it easy. We chillax. Just kind of 
look at the world and oh my goodness there's finally some events starting to happen mechanized mining has been invented on all parts small arms factory potato plight I don't really care let them eat cake okay okay no factories in Ghana seriously like this that region should not that region should not have any factories in it like th I already know they will not they will not grow that's just it's just a hopeless cause trying to like grow them but anyways let's go to our ah, dang okay increase increase our steel production because I seriously I seriously thought we were gonna because we have like the third biggest I am deposits in the world we should be like the leading producer in steel right now seriously like no joke we should seriously be the leading producer in steel I don't know why I don't know why our capitalists have not gotten on to that but anyways that kind of makes me sad <laughs> not gonna lie that kind of makes me sad and lockout I can manage people becoming socialists I just can't imagine people being being mad at me so seems like people are trying to get me to reform lazy natives need to adapt I'm still not giving it to them I'm still that kind of guy and our economy is just like repulsive right now what I mean by repulsive is that it's way too powerful so I'm just gonna decrease it so we can gain half half of that yeah we need to we need to make sure our lower class is being provided for and such and what's going on here oh just a simple little rebellion and no and establishing a penal colony the idea of isolating offenders and breaches of the public peace from society in the general in general is probably as old as time itself many classical systems of justice include banishment from the realm as a last resort type of punishment reserved for serious crimes and officers and such punishment was not seldom considered worse than a death penalty with the growth of the European colonial empires during the 18th and 19th centuries these ideals received a modern incarceration in the form of the penal colony with renowned or infamous examples being the British colony of Bata Bay and the French Devil's Island in French Ghana since France occupied several territories that could be well suited for such a purpose perhaps we ourselves should consider establishing such an institution no one escapes from Alcatraz at all or I think there are more humane solutions to the consider no one escapes from Alcatraz <laughs> uh, yeah that that seems like me in this game but wow we're starting to we're starting to have some problems with the immigration system, I'm betting. And the Valley of the Kings can still be initiated. Uh, we still don't need it. And anyways... Oh man, this is... A, hmm. Oh, wait. So to fix this... So to fix this last little thing. Going output. These aren't making us money. And I can see that now. Do I want to do anything about it though? Web. Okay. Anyways, people, this is episode's running a little bit long. So I guess I'll see you guys next time.